Welcome to this 3-Minute Thursday video. As the name suggests, my plan is to provide 3-Minute tips each Thursday of the semester. These videos are designed to give you quick, helpful tips to improve your teaching experience. The topic for this Thursday's 3-Minute tip is rubrics. I'd like to give you a quick overview of the benefits of rubrics and then demonstrate how to create them in Canvas. Rubrics can be used for about any assessment unless there is just one right answer. Rubrics provide the student with clear expectations by providing criteria and descriptions of performance levels. Rubrics will also improve consistency in your grading from student to student. If you set up your rubric with the Canvas Speed Grader, there is potential to save a lot of time in grading, and the rubric provides an organized structure for student feedback. A rubric is set up in a table format with criteria separated in rows and ratings set in columns. This example is for a discussion board rubric. When developing a rubric, be careful as you consider your criteria. Make sure they match your objectives for that assessment and are weighted appropriately. In this rubric, the content of the initial post and responses makes up 80% of the points available, while mechanics or writing skills is worth 10 points or 20%. If you do a quick search, you will find a lot of examples of rubrics available online. Also, in a recent chat sponsored by the Teaching and Learning Center, Rubrics were discussed and one idea which was shared was to get student input in creating the rubric. It will be interesting to hear what students feel they should be evaluated on for a particular assessment. You may or may not choose to use all their suggestions or agree on the weighting of their criteria, but it's a great way to plan, interact with your students, and make sure they have a good understanding of the value of that assessment. When you are ready to create your rubric in Canvas, you can add it within an assessment or on its own by navigating to rubrics and then adding a rubric. You can see I've already created a couple of rubrics. First, we're going to take another look at this rubric for discussions. When I go into the edit mode, you can get a basic idea of how this is created, but you can also check the video description for some additional resources to guide you. In this rubric, I chose the range option to allow for that flexibility in grading, but there are times when you might want to score in an all or nothing manner, where this other example shows a rubric with a small amount of points, so there is no need to use the range function. Now we will go through the process of adding rubrics to assessments. First, we will go to our writing assignment. You'll note that I am not in edit mode, but this is a graded assignment. See the plus rubric? If you scroll down, this will allow you to start building your rubric or give you options. To be considered time, I won't go through the options, but you can find the details in the How Do I Add a Rubric to an Assignment article and the additional resources in the video description. I am going to choose Use this rubric for assignment grading. Since I've already created my rubric, I will find a rubric. You can use the rubric in any of your classes, but I created this rubric in this course, so I know to look there. Once I choose my rubric, I see the two rubric options available and choose the one I want by clicking the Use This Rubric. Adding a rubric to a discussion is just slightly different. Rather than finding the rubric button at the bottom, you will need to use the three vertical dots in the upper right. Here we will find the option to add a rubric. From there, the process is the same. I hope this Thursday's three-minute tip has been helpful, and I encourage you to share it with others. Please contact me with comments to schedule a consultation or to share ideas for future videos. The best way to reach me is by email at gcid at ksu.edu. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for spending three minutes with me today. 